feel like the last three years of my life has just been all about boys. So I'm trying to make myself fall in love with this apartment. Now I don't know what to do with myself. Now the most logical question after all of this information is Hello there my beautiful friends and welcome to another video. Always grateful that you're here. Thanks for tuning in. I, my head, my hair is very greasy. Like my head is itchy, that's how greasy my hair is. So I think I'm gonna have a little tea bath moment this morning, which was not part of the to-do list and not part of the agenda, but I've neglected to wash my hair for like six days. So I actually started using my magazine holder as a dish rack because my gray plastic one is just really ugly and I felt like this wood book holder needed more of a purpose. Having a bath in the morning time makes me feel two types of ways. The first way is that I have nothing to do. Why not just have a bath? You know, that type of energy. And then the other energy, the second way I feel, is that I am treating myself like the queen I am. You know? I really spiced that one up though. I haven't put anything in my bath in such a long time. I was inspired by a reel that I saw on Instagram of this girl putting like oranges and grapefruits and stuff in her bath. So I'm like, I have an orange. Why don't I do that? The difference was she had like seven oranges and it was like perfectly splayed out and like this beautiful nature vibe. And I'm just like in my bathroom with like one orange. <laughs> I feel like genuinely one of my skills when it comes to cooking is making something out of nothing. I have nothing in the fridge. I will show you my state of my fridge in a second, but I made this chocolate banana nut thing yesterday. <laughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. I think I breathed in a piece of my own spit. I don't even know what's in this. Like I put, I made it. Oats are not my favorite thing in the world, but if I can hide them in some sort of brownie bake thing, then they're not so bad. Hi, good morning. I was wondering if you guys sell plywood to the public. We <laughs> do. Okay, wonderful. Um, I am looking for something that's seven feet. Okay, so I wanna make my kitchen a little bit nicer for myself. I really do not like this countertop. <laughs> I've thought about sanding it, I've thought about staining it, I've thought about trying to make it not so dark, and because I rent this place, I just don't think that I have the authority to do these things. So my thought is that I just buy a piece of plywood that is the same size as this, put it on top. Ah, oh, phones are so distracting. <laughs> I feel like recently I've been trying to make myself fall in love with this apartment and there are so many aspects about it that I think are so so cute but I think it's so not ideal for filming 
the lighting is just so strange and I thought it would be good because there were so many windows but because there's so many different directions of light the camera just never knows what to do so then I when I'm editing I'm just like I don't like this so I'm trying to make myself fall in love with this apartment because it would be really easy if I just kept the lease and you know it just I don't know why I'm moving this and I just like went away for a month to a nice little island off of Africa or part of Africa and then just came back here because the rent is so good and I love Cape Town and I would like to stay here as long as I possibly can but visa situations are always a hassle and a half to figure out so I'm just like okay maybe if I just fall in love with this apartment then this can be my home base and I can stay in South Africa for three months at a time or six months at a time and then leave for a little bit and then come back and just continue to live like that. That could be cool. That could be nice. But there are many things that I do not love about this apartment. Because to be completely honest, I am over bouncing around. Like I'm just, I'm done. I want a home base and I would like to go on trips and I'd like to be happy with the home base that I have and love it and feel like it is home, you know? I don't know, Africa is just special. Do we like this here? Under here seems empty now and over here seems full now. If I can be completely honest, I would just, I would like to just move this entire island. Instead of it being this way, I'd like it to be this way, but there's like wires and plumbing stuff underneath of it so I can't really move it although it's completely detachable and like not a fixed in place island I could move it but then there's just wires and should I try should I try I think I'm gonna try <laughs> Anytime I do anything, it has to be like hectic. Like it has to be insane. I can't even express. I have a huge mess to clean up. I feel like it's the calm after the storm right now. You know that feeling? Like my heart is still like racing from that. Like I. I shut the water off but apparently that's not how you shut the water off you guys missed it too like my camera just like died and I had to wrap two cloths around the hose and like pray that I wouldn't pop out of the sink while I ran downstairs to there's always a guy here doing maintenance stuff and I'm like please help me I started freaking out and he doesn't really speak good English so he probably had no idea what was happening and I'm like trying to explain what is going on and he's just like i'm like water off shut it off <laughs> and he goes outside and he shuts the water off for me and i just immediately oh <sighs> literally it was hectic i can't even i like there's water everywhere A big thank you to my long-term sponsor and website host, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. I actually just launched my new website, so you can go check out what I made possible using Squarespace, and also it's a one-stop shop for all of my recipes. You can choose one of their beautiful pre-made templates like I did, and then make it your own using the incredible and easy tools that they offer. Either that's as simple as changing the color scheme and adding your own images, or as quote-unquote complex as setting up your own store with all of your products, whether they're digital or physical. I love all of the different layers and unique elements I was able to add to really display my personality through my website. Squarespace makes website building creative and fun, but any questions you have along the way, you can contact their award-winning customer service for answers. 
So whatever you'd like to share with the world, I recommend using Squarespace to get it out there. And if you'd like to try them out, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial, test everything out, build your website. And then when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash Julia Ayers to get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. The annoying thing about this new change is I don't know if I like it more. It's different. I was hoping that I would be able to have the island like away from the wall and be able to cook on the side of the wall and then film facing, like overlooking the island against the wall. So it was like, you know, wood countertop, white backdrop. But now I have to like film on an angle. I just. Uh, that whole adventure took like a two over two hours and I just don't know. <laughs> now I don't know what to do with myself. I'm very hungry. I'm debating whether or not I go out to eat or I just go grocery shop and come back. That seems like odd though. I decided that going out to eat is just, I don't need to spend the extra money and I have a little bit of something, something I can put in my tummy right now. And I want to open up a little bit about finances because so many people ask me how I'm able to afford the life that I'm living with traveling so much over the last year and a bit. And the answer is barely, 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 barely. <laughs> That's how I'm able to afford it. Like I have had some unexpected expenses over the last um, bit of time that really set me back. And to be honest, like I can't afford Canada. Like Canada is extremely expensive and I don't know how most people afford it. Like it's hard to find somewhere to live, especially with what I do for work. It is awkward for me sometimes to have roommates because I have a camera and if, my roommates are not comfortable with a camera being in the space, then you know I can't do my job. And it's just, it makes things a little bit more difficult when it comes to living situations. When I went back to Canada last year in November, end of October, I sold a bunch of my stuff and it helped a lot with certain things financially, but I owed a bunch of money in taxes. I had never really done this business by myself before and I didn't really understand what it entailed. And so I was like hit with a tax bill that I was not expecting. So that ate all of my savings, plus I still had extra to pay on a monthly basis. When I sold my car, I made no money from my car. Like I had to pay the extra amount that was still owing on my car and I had to like take out money on my line of credit and I just now currently in this moment feel in a lot better place financially don't have money owing on my credit cards anymore and I don't have money owing I still have a little bit of money owing on my line of credit but it feels a lot more like attainable to pay off in a shorter period of time but yeah I just want to put it out there that just because I'm on this online space and I try to like choreograph a life that is entertaining to watch doesn't mean that there isn't struggles behind the scenes. And I know that, you know, so many people struggle financially because we are not taught how to manage money. And for myself, my parents are not good at managing money at all. I didn't really learn about money other than that it causes stress in life. So trying to navigate running my own business, travel, and all of that jazz has been difficult for me. And it's one reason that I would like to stay in South Africa because I feel like I can afford it. And I feel like shit saying that because I know for the majority of people here, it is not an affordable place. So if you too are struggling financially, just know that you're not alone. I know you, I feel you, I understand the pressure that it causes on our hearts, on our minds, how we get down on ourselves for maybe putting ourselves in this situation. We have all of this negative self-talk around it. So just know that that negative self-talk that is going on in your brain, you are not any of it. Keep working hard and eventually you'll pull yourself out. I love you.
I've been in here once before and it's so cute, so I'm excited to explore if they got any new goodies. I love when my front seat is green. I've got so many goodies. Let's dive into it. I got a beautiful fennel stems and everything. I love being able to like get the actual stems and stuff because you can garnish things with it and it just looks so pretty. Some cilantro classic for me. I got a jar because I have jars but I don't have jars with lids. So I bought, bought a jar. I always forget the name of this plant but I guess I could look. Penny, penny gum? Penny gum? I got a little bath scrubber for exfoliation. Some incense, kale, beautiful radishes. Either really large green onions slash their leeks. Big thing of carrots, some zucchini, different types of mushrooms, bananas, rosemary. Oh my goodness. Hummus, soy sauce, lots of garlic, Japanese sweet potato, onion, red onion, some little clementines. People call them nachis here. I'm not sure why, maybe it's Afrikaans, but nachis and or clementines and some coconut milk because it was a good deal. This is the, the little grocery haul from nothing to everything my heart desires in the fridge. Feeling good. <laughs> twine to wrap their veggies instead of plastic tags or elastic bands and stuff. It's just so much better for the environment. One thing I always do with kale is take it off of its stalks, save the stalks and I can throw them in other things. Sometimes I forget about them and they go bad and I throw them out, but <laughs> I try to save them and throw them into different meals when I remember, but it just helps the kale leaves stay well a little bit longer, I find, especially when they're in a sealed bag with a little bit of moisture. They just keep crisp instead of going limp. There was a tiny little snail in my kale. That is so cute. Ooh. All right, little guy, you gotta go outside. Bye. I'm going to make what I was planning on making for dinner right now, even though it's not dinner time and it's way past lunch, so it's in that middle stage that I just don't know what to do with myself. However, butternut, squash, Thai, curry, creamy deliciousness. That's what we're going for with a cucumber salad, just because I really have to use up this cucumber. I'm gonna chop the top off of my butternut squash and then peel the entire thing. After that, I'll cut off the base from the butt and then scoop out all of the gook and seeds from it. Chop it into small cubes, throwing it into a pot. And then once I'm finished up chopping, I'll put the pot on the stove with a bit of water and seasoning everything with salt.
Okay, my heart is actually so on fire right now because the way the sun is hitting the island, I'm really glad that I moved it. It was such a hassle, but I'm really glad that I did just for this. <laughs> like that's so pretty. salad. I almost called it broccoli salad for some reason. It's missing something. Is it? I think it needs a little bit of sweetness. I really should make like a syrup sugar thing. <laughs> what is it called? A simple syrup? trying to build an African playlist and so far it's just all the same artist and I swear he has the most music in the entire world because he just has a never ending amount like it's like pretty sick though I'll link the playlist down below it's all like I said the same guy but he makes music with like other African artists and stuff so every song is so different and so many different people singing and different languages it's sick but i feel like i need to diversify my african playlist because there are definitely other african artists i could include <laughs> But I think about how I got to every single place that I have been and I feel like it's always about a boy. It's always about boys. Yo, this is phenomenal. Yep. Wow. This is so good. It's really hot. I left Ontario, Canada after a breakup and you don't really want to leave a place even though you crave to travel because you love somebody and you want to stay with them but then the breakup I'm like why don't I travel let's go car camped across Canada met a boy in BC he showed me around he fixed my tire on the side of the highway that's how we met it's on YouTube <laughs> that relationship died in about six weeks and however it brought me to the town that I ended up living in for like half a year or eight months, 10 months, that my stuff is still currently in the storage unit. And then I moved to that town, like the second day I was there, met another boy. He's the one who brought me to Europe. Not actually, but we went together. And that encouraged another mode of tra travel across the seas. And then we broke up, but I was still craving travel. So then I went back overseas. Met another boy, went back to Canada, sold all my stuff, met up with him in Thailand, and then he brought me to Africa. But now I'm in Africa and I want to stay in Africa. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> now the most logical question after all of this information is, who's the next boy and where are they going to take me? This has been a repetitive cycle for me, obviously. Who's to say it's not gonna happen again? Let's be real. 